Hi and welcome to my guide. Today we will be completing the quest family crest. There are no quest requirements and the stat requirements are 40 mining, smithing and crafting as well as 59 magic. All of these stats are boostable. For the items needed, cooked, shrimp, salmon, tuna, bass, swordfish, any kind of pickaxe that you can use, but I recommend to bring the best one that you currently have. Two cut rubies, a ring and a necklace mold, a regular, super or mix anti-poison potion with any dosage. And then also some runes to cast the four blast spells. Be sure to bring along multiple casts of each spell because you could splash and fail. For the recommended items. One stamina potion of four doses with some weight reducing clothing should be enough. Then also some food, armor, weapon and potions to kill a solely melee using combat 170 which has a max hit of 18 with available safe spots in level 2 wilderness. Then maybe also an antidote because we're gonna pass some poisonous spiders. And then maybe also some food or protect from melee for when you are mining gold while being attacked by combat 100 something hellhounds. For the teleports, those are gonna be a bunch. One to Cathabai, three to El Carrot, of which one to the gem trader and two to the El Carrot mine. One to the dwarven mine, one teleport to Witch Haven, I will be using in Ardoin Cloak number one. One to any furnace, one to the lumberyard, one to Edgeville, one to the rock. Then one extra teleport to either the Alcarid Mine, Lumberyard or Cathabai if you would wish to own Goldsmith, Chaos or Cooking Gauntlets respectively after the quest is completed. And then also one teleport after the quest is completed. And lastly, because I don't have two out of four skilling requirements, I will be bringing along two ales to boost my stats to those stat requirements. So, where to start this quest is here in the slums of southeastern part of Varrock. Let's go to the quest start and talk to Dimethys. Select option 1, 2, 1. After speaking to him, we will need to make our way to Cathabai. I don't really have Lunars at the moment, so I'm going to be using a Camelot teleport. We will now need to go to the building just north of the bank, where there also is a water and a cooking range sign. Inside of that house, or around that building, you should find the NPC with a chef hat called Caleb. Talk to him and also select option 1, 2, 1. Next, talk to him again and select option 1 once again to get your first piece out of 3. This was also the easiest one by the way. Next, let's make our way to the gem trader in El Carrot, who is located... And that market stall is located next to the glider, north of the town. Let's talk to the gem trader and select option 3 about the man called Ivan. Next, let's run or teleport to the El Carrot mine. Just north of El Carrot. And near the gold rocks, you should find a NPC just called Man. He has a yellow cape on. Let's talk to him and select option 2. and he would want some perfect stuff. Next, let's teleport to the Dwarven Mine, because Ivan has redirected us to talk to Boot, who's located in the second most western room in the Dwarven Mine, and he will know the location where to get or where to mine perfect gold ore. So let's enter the Dwarven Mine, and then go south. Then simply go 
to the most western room. Well, the most western room is where the Dwarven Gang is in the One Small Favor quest. So if you go to the room just east of that one, there you should find Boot. Let's talk to him, he has some red trousers on. And select option 1. After speaking to him, let's make our way to Witchhaven Dungeon. Fuck, I haven't written that down. And after talking to Boot, let's make our way to Witchhaven Dungeon. The Witchhaven Dungeon is located just between Easter Doyne and the port of Witchhaven. We're now going to get attacked by some ogres as well as hellhounds, so be sure to go to the bank if you don't have protect from melee. Also bring like maybe a prayer potion if you need to. Once in the dungeon, follow it north to a locked room. Next to the locked door, you should find a lever. Pull that one up, and then run south to the southern room. There are two doors. Enter via the eastern door. And then on the eastern wall, you'll find another lever. Pull that one up and then exit via the western door. Next, go back to the northern lever and pull that one back down. After you've done that, enter the room, the northern one, and then on the northern wall, pull the lever up, then exit once again, and pull the lever next to the door once again, back up, Then run back south to the southern room, enter via the western door, pull the lever back down and exit via the eastern door. Afterwards go a bit north and you have unlocked the door going to the perfect gold ore mine just east and then enter the eastern room filled with command 122 hellhounds. There you should find a couple of rocks which you can mine. Mine two rocks to get two ore of perfect gold. Right, once you have two perfect gold ore, let's teleport to any furnace. Then use one ore on the furnace to smelt one bar. To smelt one bar. Then use that bar on the furnace and then make one ruby ring. Next, smelt the second ore into a bar and then use a the bar on the furnace to make one necklace. Be sure not to make like two rings else you will need to mine some more perfect gold ore. Right, once you have these two pieces let's teleport or make our way back to the El Carrot mine to deliver these two pieces to Evan to get crest piece two out of three. After speaking to him, let's make our way to the lumber yard. And just west of the lumber yard, you should find a big inn called the Jolly Boar Inn. Let's click on the staircase here in the southeastern corner to go upstairs. Once you are on the second floor, go to the northwestern corner and there you should find inside of that room Jonathan. Talk to him and he shouldn't feel so good. Right click on your anti-poison of any kind and any dosage and use it on him. 
and he will be cured. After speaking to him, and you will see three options, let's just make our way to Edgeville to prepare for the boss fight, which takes place in the wilderness part of Edgeville Dungeon. So, what you may deposit is your pickaxe as well as your two moles, you don't need those anymore. But what you do definitely need to bring are some runes to cast multiple of each blast spell. If you were to splash, that would mean that you would fail. Then maybe also an additional 10 fire blasts or something to finish off the demon. But you don't have to completely kill the demon off with blast spells as long as you have not splashed each blast spell on the demon then you can kill it off with whatever method you prefer. There may be also some food because we're going to be passing some black demons, poisonous spiders, and possibly also other players. Be sure to also bring along one teleportation back to the quest start southeast of Iraq to complete this quest because after we have defeated that demon, the quest is completed. So where to kill this demon is in the Edgeville dungeon. Just follow it until you see a gate going north into the wilderness part. Just open that gate, if it is your first time, yeah, just enter the wilderness, and then go west. Go west, following the dungeon until you see some black demons. Once you are at the black demons, go south, maybe also use protect from melee. North will be the ladder to go to the air obelisk, simply go south to the earth obelisk. Go stand east of the Earth Obelisk. You may turn off your Protect from Melee. And here you'll find Poison Spiders as well as Crozon. Let's use all four of our Blast Spells on Crozon. If you splash. Okay, didn't splash. Nice. You just need to be sure that you deal damage of each of the four Blast Spells. And once you've done that, you can defeat Crozon in any way you would like, but since he is very weak to magic, doing the rest of the damage with fire blasts. Once the demon has been defeated, let's pick up part number three out of three. Let's make our way back to the quest start to complete our quest. But before talking to Demethys, be sure to use one piece on each other to make a full crest. Once you've spoken to Demethys, congratulations, you've completed family crest quest. You are awarded with one quest point as well as steel gauntlets. And also you've completed a quest requirement for the mini quest family pest. Currently, these steel gauntlets are quite useless. But you can make an NPC convert them into either cooking, chaos or goldsmithing gauntlets for 25,000 GP each conversion. Simply talk to Caleb in Cathabai for cooking gauntlets and these cooking gauntlets will heavily reduce the burn rate when you are cooking. Lobsters, swordfish, shark, monkfish as well as anglerfish. You can talk to Evan in the Alcaret mine to convert your gauntlets into goldsmithing gauntlets and these will increase your XP when smelting gold ore from 22 and a half experience per 256 and a quarter XP each gold ore smelted. And this includes superheating as well as while using the blast furnace. And then finally, you could also go to Jonathan in the Jolly Boar Inn to get your hands on Chaos Gauntlets. And what these gauntlets do is simply increase the max hit of every bolt spell by three. So for example, Firebolt, while these gloves are worn, the max hit will be instead of 12, 15. Alright, this was my quest guide, how to complete Family Crest Quest. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.